know um, I could counteract most of the things said here tonight. Um, I'm Republican. I am so pro-business that um, I would never stifle industry or, or the consumer choice. The fact is this is an industry that violates the federal laws of the United States of America. It's federal cruelty, and federal cruelty is really not anyone's consumer choice. Whether they think it is or not, we all have a through all the points about why puppy mills are such an enormous problem and how they contribute to the pet overpopulation crisis in our community, or why pet stores are a problem because they are an outlet for puppy mills and the reason that puppy mills are in business. I would, however, like to address a concern raised by one of the council members at the last meeting who suggested that Huntington Beach doesn't need a puppy mill ordinance because Huntington Beach doesn't have puppy mills. While it may be true that there are no brick-and-mortar, high-volume commercial breeding facilities in Huntington Beach, what Huntington De Beach does have are stores selling puppy mill dogs imported from outside the city. So it is still a very undeniable problem. Just like Huntington Beach may not have any methamphetamine labs in the city, if methamphetamine is being manufactured elsewhere and being sold in the city, that would be an issue that I would think you would want to address. And yes, puppy mills are legal and methamphetamine is not, but the issue is the same. Puppy mills are an inhumane industry that you've all agreed you don't want to support, and yet the byproduct of that industry is being sold in your My city. My name is Renee Karapedian. I'm the proud owner of Pet Rush pet store in the city of Glendale. I was uh, the first pet store that became humane, took the humane model in the city of Glendale. And since not only I've not gone out of business, but it really put us on the map. I became a lot more successful, I became a lot more uh, known in the city. Uh, and since uh, last year, we were responsible for adopting out over 300 dogs out of my little hole-in-the-wall pet store in the city of Glendale. These are dogs that all came from county shelters that did not stand a chance otherwise. Um, every time I go to the shelters and I look at these dogs, this is one dog that I know I can save. And yes, one less dog that I... I could have bought a dog from a puppy mill. I have. I did sell. I made money. But now I can tell you honestly from a business person, I'm making more money. I have a lot more clientele that trust me, knows me by name. They come to the store for me. And they honor what I've done. And that's what I would like to see these other two stores to become. So I'd like to offer my help to these other two stores to show them how they can embrace this humane model and what they have to do to become very successful. I tripled my income. I'm a living proof that this is not only possible, but it's very easy to do. The community will support. They will not only survive, but they will make money. And the dogs are out there. The puppies are out there. The rescues are full of puppies. I go every, every week, and there's a ton of them. And it, yes, it will cost you actually a lot less to get these, one of these dogs out of county shelter, spayed, neutered, macrochipped, vaccinated, temperament tested, none of those are true with these puppies they get from uh, puppy meals. Thank you for your time. I just think that, um, and, and, and everybody up here knows that this is the right thing to do. You know it's the right thing to do. State your name and let us know what's on your mind. Good evening, City Council members. My name is Dave Simon. I'm an attorney. I work in Irvine. I live in Costa Mesa. I'd like to encourage the City Council to consider passing an ordinance similar to that which the Irvine City Council recently passed, which bans the sale of dogs and cats in retail stores. David, the Irvine I am, too, speaking on the behalf of the pet stores and uh, there's breeders. animal control picking them up and it's you know it costs money to euthanize all these animals because there's such an animal overpopulation so our like like Irvine did uh, a few weeks back we'd just like to see that um, no more puppy mills let's
get the rescues adopted and try and stop the pet population. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Of commercial breeders supplying puppies to pet stores and can be found in the scathing 69 page report of the Inspector General published May 2010. These are the parents and living conditions of pet star puppies. These are pictures of many of the same USDA violations I have read to you from legal USDA reports of breeders supplying puppies to Newport Beach. Please take a good look at them. We've obtained more evidence from violations currently and continuously taking place in the pet stores of Newport Beach, which have officially been reported to the proper agencies. Our own Newport Beach Shelter, OC Humane Society, has told me they refuse to have any relationship with these stores and refuse to be associated with them in any way. I Heart Puppies is currently undergoing questioning by our Newport Beach Police Department, Animal Control, on the whereabouts of six shelter dogs that they stated in this media article in an interview with Corona Del Mar Chamber of Commerce meeting. It is under the city's jurisdiction to receive information about homeless shelter animals under the possession of I Heart Puppies, and the citizens are requesting records of necessary immediate medical treatment and the transfer of these animals they are required to possess by law. These are homeless shelter dogs. It is a common practice for pet stores to sell puppies that are too old or unfit for sale to laboratories for research. The citizens do not accept this practice for homeless shelter dogs in Newport with no advocate, and we request documentation of proof that this did not happen. Good evening, council members. My name is Alicia Koberstein. I live in Newport Coast. I used to live in Irvine. Sometimes I'd hear other residents refer to it as being almost Newport Beach in a nod to our close neighbor's prestigious zip code. And Newport Beach truly is a wonderful place to live. I, I love living here. I moved here a few years ago, and I, I'm very proud to be a, a citizen of Newport. Um, now, as Irvine continues to garner accolades for its own high desirability among the top cities in the nation in which to live, I wonder if some Newport residents might be wishing Newport Beach would be just a little bit more like Irvine. I know I do. While Irvine has taken steps toward embracing an evolving culture of compassion, Newport continues to harbor businesses which support abject cruelty, as has been brought to your attention. And that's an ugly stain on our beautiful city. It's embarrassing to admit that our city still endorses practices which are widely held by its own residents as abhorrent, and I am talking about pet stores. The recent ban Irvine imposed on the retail sale of dogs and cats is commendable. Many other cities across the nation are moving toward this viable model of being progressive and compassionate. It would be wise for Newport Beach to follow suit. As you know, the Irvine company has already taken the huge and admirable step of refusing to lease any of its properties to businesses which engage in the commercial sale of dogs and cats. And I'm sure they gave ample consideration to this decision and would only do so knowing that it would not hurt their sizable income and influence. In fact, it shines quite a flattering light on them. The Irvine company has taken a noble stand on this issue. This ban wouldn't have to have an adverse effect on those who are in the business of catering to pet owners. A number of pet stores who previously sold puppies, for example, have successfully converted to a humane business model, offering only rescued animals. And there's a lot of money also to be made from the sale of all the luxury accessories, um, which are lavished upon the pampered companion animals by discerning pet parents. It's a multi-billion dollar industry, which has seen tremendous growth in recent years, as more and more people consider their animals to be legitimate members of the family and deserving of the finest lifestyle and comforts. Banning the retail sale of animals will help to put irresponsible breeders out of business, not reputable ones. It will not put Russo's or I Heart Puppies or other similar retails out, retailers out of business, but it will present them with an opportunity to redesign their business to have a wider public appeal. There's a growing wave of people choosing to adopt rather than shop and there's increasing awareness among our citizens about the reality and horrors of puppy mills. The mass breeding of dogs in deplorable conditions is a practice which is doomed due to changing tides. 
People would rather support humane, conscientious establishments rather than those that greedily profit from cruelty. It's happening in cities all around us. Please let Newport Beach join the ranks of the enlightened. Please take the responsible and judicious step of banning the retail sale of animals in our city. This is a worthy agenda item. Thank you, Council. Thank you.